Hi and welcome, my name is Ifat, I'm an artist and illustrator. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to create a snowflake ornament. We'll use fun clipping mask for the tree. We'll draw the snowflake with a symmetry tool. Finally, we'll add glitter with a clipping mask. I'm using Procreate, but you can follow with other apps. Ask me how in the comments. So get your pencil ready and let's get started. Let's begin by heading over to the brush menu and pick a good brush from the calligraphy menu. The brush pen will do an excellent work for this uh, illustration. Let's draw a wavy line and make sure we close the shape. Next we're gonna grab the color swatch and drag and drop it into the shape to fill it up with color. Next, let's add another layer and repeat this action with a lighter green color. Finally, we'll add a third layer, drag it in between the two layers that we've already had. We'll pick the same green as in the lower layer and repeat the action of wavy line, close shape and dropping color in it. Let's take a closer look at our layers. We have three layers, two the same color, and one lighter color on top of those. We're going to add a fourth layer in between the third and the second layer. Next, let's tap on the layer window, and from the drop-down menu, we'll choose Clipping Mask. Next, I'm heading over to the brush menu because I'm looking for a good texture brush. And from the sketching menu, I'm gonna pick Bonobo Chalk, which is a preset in Procreate. Now I'm starting to paint the shadow of the second layer and as I paint it with a darker color, the layer starts to show up above the shadow. And that gives us a very nice soft effect. I'm going to do the same thing for the second green layer. I'm tapping on it to pick it up and that's like a short way of, of choosing a layer to work on. And um, drawing the shadow of the topmost layer on the second layer. And this time around I'm not using a clipping mask, I'm drawing directly on the layer. Now let's add a new layer and set it up for clipping mask on the topmost layer. And we're going to pick a lighter green and add highlights to the very edges of the top layer of the tree. And so this is basically our Christmas tree, it's made out of three layers and the fourth layer is the background which is in dark green. If we want we can go back to a layer and add more definition. I'm ready to draw the snowflake now, let's add a new layer and we'll head over to the top menu, choose the wrench, we'll hit the canvas icon and switch on the drawing guide. Pay attention to the bottom of the screen, we'll have all kinds of symmetry. We're going to choose a symmetry which is radial, switch on the rotational symmetry switch for this illustration. Let's head over to the color palette and pick a soft yellow. We'll place our pen at the very center of the screen and stretch a line to the edges to create our snowflake. Keep on drawing diagonal lines and the fun thing about the symmetry tool is you only draw it once, the software will duplicate it to create a perfect snowflake. I'd love to see your illustrations, give you a comment or shout out in my next video, so share them with me on Instagram with the hashtag artwithifat. Procreate will create a perfectly straight line if you keep your pencil pressed on the canvas. I draw short lines and keep my pencil on the canvas to let the app straighten my lines. And that's it, this is a very basic but very pretty little snowflake. And we're ready to move on to the next stage. I'm going to add glitter to my snowflake. I'm adding a new layer and I'm setting it up slightly differently. We'll press both Drawing Assist and Clipping Mask for this layer. The Drawing Assist will give it the same symmetry guide as the layer underneath. 
and with the clipping mask we are sure not to draw beyond the boundaries of the snowflakes. I want to start by giving the snowflake volume, so I'm going back to the texture brush, the Bonobo brush, and with a darker color I'm gonna paint very gently around the snowflake uh, perimeter. And basically what I'm doing is painting a very um, gentle shadow around, all around the snowflake. Let's add some glitter to the snowflake. I'm heading over to the brush menu and from the Procreate brush sets in spray paint, I'm picking the Flix brush. It, I've set it up to about, I guess, 40%, rather big. And since my snowflake is yellow, I picked brown for the glitter. Think of it as the shade of the glitter. And on top of the brown, I'm gonna paint with a lighter brown, which is kind of more of an orange glitter. And then I'll we'll finish it up with a white to give the brightness of the glitter effect. And now the nice thing is that since I've set this um, layer in drawing guides, I only need to uh, illustrate one section of the snowflake and the, the drawing guide would duplicate my um, painting to all the other segments. Let's finish up the glitter effect with painting bright spots on top of the glitter effect with a brush pen. The last thing I would like to do is add shadow to the snowflake. To do that, let's head over to the layer menu, pick the snowflake layer and duplicate it by sliding left. Then we're gonna head over to the U brightness uh, saturation setting and change the lightness setting to the most dark color. Next we're gonna hit the transform tool and slightly move the layer down and to the side to create the shadow. In the layer blending mode let's hit multiply and change the opacity settings to about 20%. And with this, my friends, our snowflake is done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe for more art videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.